going on everybody sports expert here we do have some breaking news in college football to report so we have another uh, coaching firing so new mexico lobos they are firing head coach danny gonzalez after four seasons he finishes the season at four and eight and it wasn't enough to retain himself it looked like he may have saved his job for one extra week after beating fresno state but took a loss against Utah State in overtime, which was the end of it for him. A game they probably could have easily won, and you know they could have finished five and seven, maybe giving them some reconsideration and firing Gonzalez. But he is gone. He is done in New Mexico. New Mexico will be looking for a new head coach this offseason, and Gonzalez is done. It's the right move. And this news was inevitable. I thought they would move on from him last season, but they choose to move on from him now. Like, I guess retaining him for one more season is whatever, but. I don't know. I mean, at the same time, I feel like firing him makes so much sense at this point. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out. Very good defensive coordinator, though. I bet a lot of teams will be calling his name for a possible defensive coordinator opening. So look out for Danny Gonzalez on that market, along with guys like Zach Arnett, and etc. So it's the right move for New Mexico. They had some, you know, some more promise coming into the season, but four wins just wasn't enough, especially with Dylan Hopkins, Brian Vincent coming in they had a really good running game this season but it was kind of wasted just not enough from new mexico this season and from danny gonzalez's unit the defense was disappointing at times and that didn't help but danny gonzalez is more looking at it as being a head coach rather than being an actual defensive coordinator for this team so we'll put too much on that but as he still is a very solid defensive coordinator type but as the head coach they had to move on and there will be options out there I'm not sure who, but there will be options. Brandon Marion from UNLV could be an option. I mean, maybe even if you want to get cute, maybe a Bobby Petrino, who knows? So looking at it, they already hired um, Eric Petrino's son for the, as their basketball coach. Maybe hire Bobby Petrino as their football coach. <laughs> so yeah, but Danny Gonzalez has been let go by New Mexico. They will be looking for a new head coach and they joined Oregon State as uh, two teams that have had coaching openings now after the Jonathan Smith move. So I appreciate everyone being here. Sports expert here. Please hit the subscribe button new to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video, comment what you think. We do a ton of college football content. Oh yeah, I wonder for one more thing. Hank Bachmeyer, the former Boise State Louisiana Tech quarterback, has re-entered the transfer portal for the second straight off season. So Bachmeyer didn't have the greatest season, was injured, and that didn't help at all. So looking at it, it just didn't work out for Hank Bachmeyer, Louisiana Tech. He was injured, and I'm surprised he still has eligibility, but he's going to move on. He's not going to stay with Sony Cumbie, which is really intriguing. I don't think Cumbie's getting fired or anything. If they fired him, it would be interesting. He didn't have a great season, though, but, you know, he's a guy they still trust in, and I don't blame him for having trust in him still, because I still feel like there's statements on Sony Cumbie. I, I like to hire when it happened. So yeah, but Hank Bachmeyer will be transferring. And per Pete Thamel just confirmed, Danny Gonzalez will be a hot name in the defensive coordinator market for Thamel. So there you have it. So I appreciate everyone being here. Sports expert here. I'm out, guys. Peace.